right. So today we're going to talk on this uh, Monday morning mentor series. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. I, uh, I would like to challenge everybody on some communication best practices. And let me let me start by explaining or sharing a little bit of a story, something that happened this weekend. It, it really became crystal clear to me <clears throat> at how easy it could be for real estate agents to leapfrog a lot of their competitors. And let, let me explain what happened. So I think many of you know, I've talked about it before. I live on Clearwater Beach. I'm getting ready to move to downtown St. Petersburg. And I'm just leasing right now. I don't want to buy anything right now. I'm not really sure where I want to be long term, but I will be buying in about one year. And so, you know, obviously I've been doing this for so long. I know so many real estate agents uh, in the area here and have known many of them for 15, 20 years. And, you know, some real estate agents actually advertise and market and promote themselves as leasing specialists. And I reached out to several and asked them, you know, hey, what do you have? This is what I'm looking for. And this is what I need to move in. And I was blown away. These are not rookie real estate agents. These are veterans. And it was unbelievable. I, I Agent after agent after agent, I never got a response. I don't mean I got a slow response. I mean, I got zero response. I started reaching out to agents that um, had listings and and was getting responses from them. One of them I've known for almost 20 years, and she's one of the top leasing agents uh, in the country. And I reached out to her and um, asked her a question about a property, and and uh, she responded to that eventually. And I said, well, if if that's if that doesn't work, can you find me something? And her response to me was, I don't have any other listings at the time. Now. I just responded to her and said, well, would you like me to work with someone else? She never responded. And, and I thought it was kind of personal. And then I started realizing that there was just a lot of agents doing this. And, and so here, here's, uh, well, let me, let, me, let me fast forward. I had another person who was, is a personal friend I've known since grade school, also a real estate agent. I posted something about this on Facebook about just real estate agents not doing their job. And just not responding, and, and and what a bad customer experience that was, and and how avoidable it is, and how unnecessary it is, and and I actually had this friend of mine um, who responded and said, "We only make about three hundred dollars on rentals, and uh, if you want to up the ante and pay ten grand, uh, I'm sure you'll get better communication." And I was really floored by that response, and I don't know if it was in jest, uh, if it was tongue in cheek. But it made me recognize a couple of things is this is an epidemic in our industry. When I worked with uh, one of the big portals, uh, we had data and on leads, on inquiries, customer inquiries on listings, 46% of the, of the leads or the inquiries got a response, which meant 54% of the lead inquiries never got a response from the agent the average response time was more than seven hours. Now, when you think about this, you know, you got to realize that, you know, an old motto that a mentor of mine uh, once said, he said, hey, he said, Frank, nothing in life means anything except the meaning that you attach to it. And, and I want to challenge everybody that customers are attaching meaning to the interaction and the communication that they have with you. And the meaning that they're attaching is whether or not they want to recommend you, whether or not they think you're any good at your job, whether or not they like you or trust you. And here's what's really interesting is I know tons of people. And because of what I do for a living, people are always asking me for real estate agent recommendations. And I'm going to be buying a home within a year. And I just want to go lease a place for a year because I think there's a lot of changes going on, market and economy and all that. And, and but. Can you imagine if somebody communicated well, reached out promptly, provided me with value, do you know how many people I would recommend to that real estate agent? And so here's my challenge. <clears throat> this is my challenge to everybody. You know, NAR reports every year on their consumer studies that consumers are constantly complaining about poor communication from real estate agents. And I understand consumers, customers, they're, they're, 
they're sometimes time thieves, okay? They are very needy. They want you all the time. I get it. You've got a job to do. You're professionals. You're not just representing one client typically. But here's my challenge. And I really want you to think about this and take it to heart. My challenge would be just for one week. I'm not talking about a whole month, but just for one week, for this week, do your absolute level best to respond to everybody that you interact with within 10 minutes. See if you can do that. You know, use tools, use systems, but try to respond to everybody within 10 minutes. And here's what I would really love is to keep track of this post, uh, this video, and come back to wherever this was and post comments a month from now. I'm curious that if you'll make a commitment and accept this challenge to respond to everybody you interact with, colleagues, opposing real estate agents that are representing the other side of the transaction, title reps, mortgage reps, uh, you know, your lender partners, uh, your customers. If you commit to for one week to respond to everybody within 10 minutes, I'm really curious what your business would look like 30 days from now, because I can tell you, if you're willing to be that agent, you are going to leapfrog your competitors because I can promise you, as sure as I'm sitting here talking to you, your competitors aren't willing to make that commitment. They're not doing it. And the customer is left wondering why they are not valued. And it's funny, the other thing I thought of was um, I was in a grocery store over here and there was a real estate agent in line with her real estate pin on and she was scoffing and we started talking and, and she was complaining that the line was too long. She had to wait about 15 minutes to get her groceries to check out. And I thought, isn't this interesting? You know, people don't want to wait in line for 15 minutes. But when it comes to communicating with a real estate customer, seven hours is the average response time from one of the major portals. So just think about that. I'm not, I'm not trying to dump on you. I'm trying to say this in an encouraging way. That if you really want a shortcut to leapfrog your, com your competition in the marketplace, make a commitment for one week to respond to everybody you interact with within 10 minutes. Just go out of your way. It's going to be inconvenient, but do it. I, I, I can almost guarantee you, you're going to see a marked difference in the kind of reciprocity that you receive from all of the other people that you interact with, you're going to stand out in a phenomenal, productive, positive way. So I, I hope this was you know, interesting. I just wanted to make you think a little bit, but it really is an epidemic. I, I hope you'll take the challenge. I hope you'll commit to communicating with people within, uh, within 10 minutes or less. And most importantly, make today your best day and be amazing.